everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a simple uh, filbert brush design I'm going to be using a number 12 a magic flat brush a number 4 a magic filbert brush and all these items will be listed down below in affiliate links that you can purchase through fine liner by Westonia dotting stylus and a number 10 Deerfoot Stippler. Paints I'm using are all folk art paints using autumn leaves, happy green, violet pansy, thicket, yellow ochre, and I forgot a couple other bottles here. Hold on, sorry. Thought I grabbed them all. <clears throat> Wicker white and moon yellow. They are a combination of multi surface and enamels. And a lot of times I just do them based on the availability of the colors. Not anything more than that, really. All right, I'm going to begin by going into my Violet Pansy. Just sticking my filbert brush, getting it good and covered, and then I'm going to begin. So on this design, I'm going to pull towards the center. I'm going to do the clock style like I did in my video yesterday, I believe, where I... I'm going to end up hitting the camera here. Sorry if I do. All right, so I'm just going to go add my strokes. Now you could just go around it, do a stroke next to it, next to it, next to it, and complete it. I'm doing it this way just to show you how easy. So I'm going to go down here, start my counter or my clock counterclockwise, or however you want to reference it. just helps you get them lined up. In this design also you can do different size petals on your flowers just like I talked about in some of my other videos. All right and I think down here I always run out of room it seems but that's okay. As long as you get the gist, this is a bottle that I do for my videos, and so it gets rinsed off. If it were something I were selling, then it would be I'd be a little bit more concerned, but I'm not. All right, you can scrape a little bit of the paint off. You're going to go into the wicker white, and you're going to come back through and place down work a white on top of the petals and you can leave a little bit of the beneath petal showing sorry to go this direction here put this plate down I can turn it <clears throat> just be careful when you're doing this because you could pull up the color from underneath and it could look like you crackled it it's the only thing I can say is a problem when you're painting on glass is pulling up the paint from underneath. But I'm leaving a little bit or trying to leave a little bit of the purple from underneath showing through. You could do this with different size brushes. I'm just choosing to do it with the one size but if you find it easier to do this kind of painting with like say a larger size and then a, a size a little bit smaller to go over it with you know, feel free to do that. I always try to minimize the amount of product that you have to have to complete a design whenever possible. If you're new to my channel, please know that my channel is meant to be for beginners. If you're an experienced painter, you could use my designs as an inspiration and add your touch to it. 
anytime I'm painting something, if you feel like it is not, you know, you don't like everything I'm doing, then feel free to eliminate that, especially like I do a lot of leaves. And I know I do a lot of leaves because I really like leaves. So right now I'm just taking the same brush, putting another layer, and just kind of going in between the first set. And then just pull in towards the center. Now you could leave a space in the center if you wanted. You could leave a space there for the center to be put in. Or you could actually put the center in halfway through. That's up to you. I'm choosing to wait till the end of creating the flower before putting that in. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I keep clearing my throat. Now on this design, I'm not going to do it as a stem for all these to hook to. I'm just going to do some leaves around them. And that is my design. It's kind of like doing a pattern per se. All right, I'm going to scrape some of that. All right, so I dipped into the white and I'm going to do the exact same thing like I did before. And just lightly, got to watch your pressure so you don't pull the paint up or cause it to look like it's crackling. You know, there are some benefits to painting on glass, and there's some that you just got to kind of learn how to deal with. Some things that are a little bit more difficult as you learn to paint on glass. <clears throat> And even in this scenario, you could use different colors for the different layers. Again, I'm just sticking to the minimal, just so that you get the gist and can create the design very simply. Now, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave. I would greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put those down below. I would like to hear from you. See, here's a for instance of it crack cracking while your paint separating. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is hit it with a heat gun. If you have a hair dryer or you want to leave some dry time, before I tap in the centers, I will be right back. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is, actually I need to get some water out of this brush. I always do my painted version first, and then I do my, my video. So a lot of times I just wash out my brush. All right, so I'm going to go into my yellow ochre and just pounce, 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 pounce. I want a good coating on this. I'm going to come in and just pounce it into the centers. And it definitely helped to have it have it dry. Then I'm going to take the front of my brush, tip it into the moon yellow. I could tap it on my plate a little bit if I want. It's up to me, obviously. And you can have your centers go in different directions if you want. That's up to you. Next thing I'm going to do is touch the back. Oops, sorry. Touch the back end into the orange. And again, I can tap it on my plate. And I'm just going to come around the base here a little bit. Hit around the base. Hit around the base. Just a smidge. Then I can come back in with my yellow ochre. Just kind of tap in. Just kind of blend it in a little bit. 
I just don't want it to look like I have a splotchy little line here. And that's, well, I'm not going to leave it this way anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my fine liner. And this is where you might want to add some some different colors to it to make it stand out a little bit more but what I'm going to do I'm not, I'm not going to do it that way but what I'm going to do is go ahead and stick my liner into my yellow ochre and I'm going to come through and I'm just going to start pulling little pieces out from the center now really with the amount of paint that I have down on here probably don't need to do it too much because I do have quite a bit of paint that I can pull it out from and that's why I say you know you might want to do it with a different color something that shows up a little bit better or just do what I'm doing it's up to you but just real easy pulls just kind of pulling out from the center out and coming onto the flower some Doing the same thing here. Or you could even reverse it and have more of the orange coming out this way so you can see it more. But I'm going to just stick with it this, this way. I'm going to do the orange on the bottom and just pulling it out around doing the orange around the bottom and it doesn't have to come all the way out around the whole center either And do the same over here. All right, next thing I'm going to do is take my dotting stylus. I'm going to come in here and what I'm going to do is start putting some dots down. Now you can choose one side of the flower that you want to do this on. You can put some down in the orange part too if you want. Kind of vary that some if you want it to be them going in different directions you can do that too. I'm going to have this one coming up here or you can go all the way around it even doesn't matter. Alright so then I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm going to come in with the moon yellow and start down in here a little bit I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to do it on some parts of it. Make sure I put it in the right color. I like dots. But again, in this situation, if you were not a dot person and you just want to stop at a certain point, Feel free to do so. Use your creative thought to show your show your creativity and make it yours. And the white when you put it in here just makes it pop a little bit more. You can put a little, a lot, big, small doesn't matter up to you mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we have that. Almost done. Thanks for sticking with me. Gonna be picking up my flat brush. Dip one side into the happy green, one side into the thicket. If you ever need to, you can stick a little bit of white in it. Makes it more opaque. And that's the most important thing here is that you put a good coverage on so that your design is more durable and will withstand scratches. Okay, and you don't have to put twos. You can just do one leaf or fill them in wherever you see like they fit. You can overlap them if you want. That is up to you. And we'll just keep turning the bottle as we work on these. And this is a sample of where you don't have to make everything on a stem, hooked together. They can be separated and still be pretty. Yes, I think. If you're going to bake your item, I would let it dry for roughly half an hour, I'm not half an hour, excuse me, an hour. And then you can put it in a cold oven. Do not put it in a warm oven. Wait. Do not turn your oven on until you've gotten your glassware inside. And then you can turn it on. Add your preheat time to your bake time. So for instance, mine is uh, probably about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So I add that to my bake time, which with this paint, you bake for 30 minutes. So you're looking at 50 minutes. Doesn't hurt it if it bakes longer. I've never had an issue with that. You can have your little stems coming out like that. They don't all have to just be rigid and directly into your leaves. All right, I think we're done. Again, I hope you like this design. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention too is if you bake it, make sure you let it sit in the oven until it's dry, or not dry, but until it's cooled off. Some people ask how long will that be? Well, it just depends. I would say give it an hour, check it. Main thing is, is glass breaks when you have a sudden change in temperature, so you want to avoid that. All right, again, I hope you like this design. If you do, give me a big thumbs up new to my channel, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before leaving, please take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.